Hi everyone, welcome for a, welcome to a new video from Talent Battle. Okay, now all of you know that Vipro has started the registration process. They have enabled the apply now link which is there on their uh, page, Vipro and LTH page. So now in this uh, video, we are going to, uh, this is going to be a step by step guide for you to understand how the registration process is there, what fields, what information you require, what documents you require and based on that so that it becomes easier for you while filling the form okay you don't have to run here and there you can get all the information right in this video and based on this you can fill in your form so let's start filling the form okay now when you go on the Vipro careers page okay in the students and graduates section you can see elite national talent hunt okay that is elite NLTH exam fine so if you click on it you are going to come to this page fine uh, this is the page earlier on which you had seen where all the information regarding the type of test and everything is given. This apply now button was disabled. Now it is on. So we will be starting with it. Okay. We will click on it. Let us see what the next stage is. Okay. So we have the event elite national uh, talent hunt FY 2021 requisition ID is given over here. Fine. Uh, not much required as such some eligibility criteria see over here eligibility criteria is given then other criteria is given selection process whatever is going to be it is given in entirety okay and over here application facts are given I'll open it in the new tab now the apply button is over here it has been enabled 13 hours ago now the candidate okay now uh, here in this fact in this fact page we'll check out later see logging in I forgot my password can I retrieve it all the general questions which you may have are answered over here okay so you can check that out uh, so we'll directly start now there are two sections one is logging back in once you create an account if you have left the form in between okay you can log back in to check in the status also so we'll start with a fresh application apply i clicked on apply okay first i have to give my mail id so i'll give it Okay, and don't worry, I'm not applying for Wipro. I've already worked at uh, other multinationals, so not interested. Okay, in Wipro. So, manasnigo2006 at gmail.com. Fine. Uh, okay, there are some things given over here. If you have time, you can read it, but actually, it's not much necessary. Next, we'll move on to the next one. Okay, now there are four things that you have to fill in. Okay, the first one is candidate profile. Second one is over here. Once you fill in the first one, then only it comes out to be next. Now, if you want, you can connect your LinkedIn profile. You can connect the Google form uh, or Facebook profile or Google account or even Microsoft account. So what I would suggest is social account information is there. What I would personally suggest is if you have a LinkedIn account, create it and connect the account. Okay. If you have it, you can create it and connect it. Like over here, uh, what they can do is once you connect to the account they will take the information like your name then job see just for filling out the forms okay so this is where and also they get to understand that okay in linkedin it is a professional network you are connected professionally to the other people so you can try to link over here it gives a good impression that is one thing secondly they'll try to extract information don't get uh, scared regarding extracting information it's not personal information as such they extract information as in to fill in the details over here regarding name and everything okay now over here if you check out the second statement cv and additional documents provide your resume below to pre-fill your profile existing data in the form will be replaced okay so you can do that so what i'll do is i'll upload my uh, cv just hold on a second i'll just upload my cv from here fine then uh, the next one i'll also upload my photograph i can replace the resume if i want fine that's my pick okay uh, that has been uploaded create a login now the login given over here is my mail id i have to create a password so let's create a password okay now there are some directions regarding password okay it must have at least eight characters one uppercase and one numeric okay fine so let's start with it now yeah all conditions are satisfied i'll re-enter my password Next is salutation, Mr. Okay, Manas. See, now the name which has been there, it has been filled from my resume. Okay. Also, if you want to change, okay, as per Aadhaar card, if you want to change, you can change it. Now, my primary phone number I will put in. 
secondary phone number not required required that's a dummy phone number okay now over here the address i'll take okay again the address has been filled in okay automatically and this is their country is there given state and province i'll fill in it's in maharashtra i live in pune postal code 4110306 now the over here add more okay you need to provide both permanent and temporary address so if this is your permanent as well as temporary address fine no problem at all keep it as it is if temporary address as per your other card is somewhere else and a temporary a temporarily you are living somewhere else mention both the addresses now let's go in with the date of birth okay identity type okay what i am giving uh, now i can give aadhar number driving license pan number whatever it is say i give aadhar number and i give some arbitrary number okay i'll just erase all of this let's see what i think so it is a 12 digit number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 these are 10 11 12 okay so now class 10th school name of school so let's start with i'll put in some arbitrary name okay class 10th passing year you can put in anything 2000 anything i can put class 10th registration number now generally the registration number which is there okay you can check out your uh, mark sheet you are going to have the registration number on it okay sometimes this registration number uh, this is a number which is unique to you okay on your result you will find it and it is printed for you it is not the roll number of passing okay so registration state which is there it is maharashtra you can put in anything over here okay i'll put in arbitrary number over here then i'll go in with maharashtra where is it yeah maharashtra is over here 10th standard percentage it's in percentage and 0.67 yes this is the real percentage that i got then 12th standard or diploma name of school okay put anything right now in pune which is the closest okay ferguson is closest to me i'll put in that ferguson college whatever 12th standard year of passing see you can put anything 2010 and all 10th i passed out in 2000 and 12th i passed out in 2010 really nice again put in arbitrary any num i mean over here you can check out the uh, result which is there board result which is there and in that you will find the registration number and the state again over here is maharashtra okay 12th standard percentage yes percentage again i received 89.66% over there okay now don't put in your pcm percentage over here okay it is the overall 12th board percentage that is required fine so there no need to put the percentage sign as such because earlier you have mentioned percentage so you can just put in the number then the time zone now over here the time zone would be what i think so it is plus 5 it's in asia okay wait a second minus 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 where is it arabian indian ist will put in ist if ist is the option given over here i s t is there no indian standard time yeah indian standard time asia kolkata okay time zone is indian standard time asia kolkata so now by proceeding you agree to icims privacy yes we agree and we submit the profile now there is some in secondary phone number is required okay you need to fill in the secondary phone number there is a star over here red star means it's compulsory so i'll put in any arbitrary number okay fine that is done again submit profile it's good feedback over here whenever you make a mistake that's much better otherwise at the end, you go at the end and you realize that some of the fields are missing
yeah it took a long time to load okay maybe their database is slow and maybe my internet connection is also so it's a really big form okay now candidate questions required will consent for processing of data for other job opportunities definitely okay if you're not hiring me right now keep it in your database your wipro's candidate pool so that other future suitable job opportunities you can pick me okay so always select this and submit now there's an option called as finish later over here okay uh, so now that finish later which was there it is available over here also it means that say you are very bored you don't have enough time right now to fill in the form so what you can do is you can click finish later whatever you have written is saved till now you can come back in later by logging in and try to uh, complete the form now over here diversity is required okay it means that what is uh, for your reference so what is basically from where are you and what is your race and everything gender and all that stuff so over here we are sort of asians okay we live in asia southeast asia so we are asians and at least in people in india okay now and over here gender okay i'll select it male and i'll submit select gender accordingly now next one is the fourth section it is job specific sections do you have any active backlogs or areas no absolute active please uh pay uh, attention it is written as active backlogs or areas so if you have it previously okay uh, it is not counted so that means that if you have you had a backlog and you have already cleared it you got the result back okay that then it should not be mentioned okay right now okay if you have a backlog uh, whose exam you have just given and your result has not come or uh, you have a backlog and you are yet to give the exam to clear the backlog then you need to mention it now do you have more than three years of gap in education absolutely no actually between 10th and graduation no uh, it's not that's not the case maybe even if i have written that 2009 2010 okay you will be writing no over here if you have a gap please mention it because there is a specific uh, requirement that there should not be more than 3 years of gap between 10th standard and graduation that is what wipro requires okay so if you have a gap please mention it because your certificates are going to talk about it uh, if you don't have a gap between 10th standard and graduation good you can mention it accordingly okay more than 10 year more than 3 years of gap is not required so let's move on i'll submit this okay the fifth one is okay graduation details form like graduation what am i undergraduation okay engineering institution type is it's not iit nit triple it it's an other institute okay i have no idea regarding university registration number okay here i think so you need to put in uh, the permanent registration number which is there pr number pr and pr number which is there on your results okay you can try to check that out it is like pj uh, 5, 6, 7, B, N, like this, these kind of numbers are there. The state over here is Maharashtra, okay, district Pune. Now, graduation institution. So, many colleges are there. I'll select anyone, any, anything I'll select. Okay, I'll select this. What's this? Arkot Shri Mahalakshmi Women's, uh, okay, I'm I can't study in a women's Apollo Institute of Technology. Okay, I'll take this. Course is BEB Tech. Yes. Branch is Electronics and Telecommunication. I'm an ENTC engineer. Okay. I'll write this. Okay. Then next year of passing anything. Now, 2019, 2021 only that much is allowed. So, say 2020. Okay. Then CGPA enter exact percentage up to two decimals. Okay. So I'll put in percentage say 70% fine up to two decimals 70.00 exactly 70%. If you have done PG that is post graduation that is masters MTech MS whatever it is please mention it that I have not done. Now pay attention here it is in yellow and here it is in white. The yellow part is compulsory okay and the white part which is given over here it is optional fine. So let's move on uh, submit I'll submit this. Okay, take a look. Your application was submitted successfully. Thank you for applying. You are currently submitted to this job. Okay, so what you can do is uh, a very good thing is see your name is over here. Take a screenshot of this. Okay, take a screenshot of this. Uh, then paste it. Okay, in paint and save that file just to uh, be sure that you have already applied. Okay, you have applied this uh, and you have applied to this. And so 
this is like sort of what we can say is a acknowledgement that okay i have applied to the exam so any issues if there are you can uh, try to sort that out now over here again we have come to the same page now over here we have a dashboard and logout so first we are going to check out what a dashboard is okay also remember this requisition id okay uh, let's go on to the dashboard let's see what what's there in my dashboard okay over here welcome to the dashboard will are your options for managing a profile and reviewing the status of jobs you have applied to this is first is the boarding pass form next is background verification and then is onboarding embark okay so now maybe this requisition id is uh, the id specific to that advertisement okay like it's like an advertisement number okay for this job profile or uh, the advertisement which is there it's that id and accordingly this is a job posting fine and status is that your my form has been submitted let's see what's a boarding pass over here boarding pass form very important this resume number is very important okay so please uh, if possible try to print this out and have it with you name date of birth is given email id is given college name event name event id is given okay event venue virtual remote hiring assessment dates will be confirmed over email later okay virtual remote hiring that means it will be an online exam okay maybe you can up, uh, or give it from the uh, from your home comfort of your house also then the event date it is like 13 1 2020 13th of january is the temporary date uh, which has been given reporting time is 8 am in the morning identity check is aadhar number identity number okay my aadhar number i have written over here a candidate signature uh, technical interview signature hr signature. now you will be required to carry below mandatory documents to attend the online assessment okay print out this email boarding pass okay we have to print uh, okay i was very right you need to print this form see here is a button print form print this you need to sign over here in this section okay rest is not for you next original aadhar card is required because i suggested aadhar card over there okay if uh, in case you don't have aadhar card please carry original government id pan card passport or driving license now if say i write over there pan card as the uh, identity proof that i am going to give okay or identity type along with that if possible also carry aadhar card keep your aadhar card with you because it is really very useful okay uh, if you have a passport well and good but still carry an aadhar card it is not compulsory please i repeat it is not compulsory uh, to carry an aadhar card but if you have it please carry it it would be nice okay then the college id card is mandatory okay please carry your college identity card please ask your college to issue new cards okay now many of you might have uh, entered final year or third year whatever it is so uh, final year really very sorry uh, you may have entered final year so you need that college i card also say if you have already passed out and thrown away the college i card then it is a cause of concern you have one month call your college get your old i cards back a duplicate i card for your from your college duplicate i card means get a college i card from your college okay go and talk with the registrar and get the i card okay next hard copy notice hard copy of the boarding pass will be verified by wipro authorized personnel during the test authorized boarding pass will be verified at every stage technical and hr interview of wipro's selection process candidates who have participated in any selection process held by wipro in the last 6 months of engineering and last 3 months for non engineering are not eligible okay at any stage whether during your interview process or upon joining the company if it is brought to a notice that you have indulged in malpractices company shall withdraw or revoke the offer with immediate effect you are allowed to take test at designated locations from the systems assigned to you for online assessments you are not allowed to use any gadgets like mobile and tablets etc to take the assessment if found using these gadgets test will be disqualified okay read the instructions you need to print this out okay i can instead of printing it right now okay i'll save and return later okay now on going to the dashboard it is written your responses have been saved an email has been sent to manasingo2000 gmail.com with instructions to access the form again okay so if i want to access the form definitely i can go from there so now over here boarding pass which is there i have checked out let's check out what is the background verification okay phil as next step in your journey towards becoming part of wipro family would like you to get to know you better for this purpose please proceed with the i verify portal and complete your profile information including education employment address and personal details the information you provided here will be used for the initial background verification process 
generally what happens is when okay this uh, page you requested was not found okay maybe they have not enabled it right now okay, what happens is when you join okay okay i need to log in fine let's let's try to see if i am able to see this is a corporate login button but let's see if i am able to log in with my mail id which i created what happens is when you join Wipro or any company, they are going to do your background verification. So sometimes the companies might ask for that information right at the start. And by the time they are recruiting you, they are also finished uh, uh, scanning you or get make, okay invalid login or password. Okay, let me check out. Have I made some mistake? Okay, so. Okay, it's invalid. I think so. This is corporate login and I might not be able to uh, go over here. Okay, so filling more field. Okay, I don't think so. We can log in over here. Fine. Okay, let's start with the next one. Okay, I'm not able to, uh, I mean, effect changes over here. Let me check out what I can do. Yeah, I'm back over here. Onboarding Embark. Let's see what that is. You are now one step closer to becoming part of Vipro family. We would like to ensure that you have smooth onboarding experience. Hence, the next step, please proceed to embark on our very own onboarding portal to fill the joining forms and complete the rest of the onboarding procedure. Now, okay, this is I think so when you get the job. Okay, so it will be accessible to you when you get the job. So I don't think so it's of use any use over here. Let's check out my dashboard again. So most of the things I have checked out what, what is over here. So it's easy to fill the form. Not much information is required. Very You can very quickly in like 15, 20 minutes you can fill the form. Just have your photograph ready. Very proper photograph. Okay. Where you are visible. Uh, now I think so. If you check out the photograph instructions. Okay. White background. They are expecting a white background at the back. Okay. They are expecting a white background at the back. So. Uh, you can try to check out see uh, let's check in over here is there anything related to uh, photograph resume personal information uploading resume filling online form profile if i created account status of the job didn't finish my application how can i update my information okay formatting best practices for resumes okay any formatting best practices uh, for resumes which is there they have given over here please see additionally it is not recommended to put important text within tables text boxes shapes or images okay so make sure that uh, if your resume if it is they are able to parse it uh, they should be able to extract information from it so rather uh, it is in a normal format okay resume for general considerations so job I don't think so. Anything about photograph is given over here. Okay. Managing job notification, updating, submitting information. No, nothing about photograph is given, but I think so. While reading, I saw something like a white background should be there. So let's check out the email that I might have received over here from Wipro. Okay, instructions for completing your form later. You can return to the form you recently saved by accessing the following URL. Click to complete. My login name is this. If you do not know your password, you can reset it by clicking here. Please save these mails. Okay, don't consider it spam. So definitely, you are actually going to get two emails. Okay, first one is this. Dear Manas Nigot, you are just few steps away and all that thing. And the second one is right now, which we had checked out. So now this is the page from where you are going to log in, not the corporate one. Okay, so let's see if I'm able to log in and go to the form. Okay, Gmail. Huh? Find the password. Yeah, I've come back. I've got back to the boarding pass. Okay, Re save and return later. Email has been sent for that. Okay, again. Again, I'll try to log in. Let me check out. Oh, 
okay i have this i can print it so i don't think so we can go back to the dashboard okay so it was very good that i checked it out earlier i don't think so you can go back to the dashboard because anyways out of the three options only boarding pass was accessible to you rest of the two are i think so after you join wipro now while if you want to print out okay you can go through microsoft word or a web browser if i put in microsoft word this entire form will be presented in the microsoft word format and you need to print out from there or you can go in for web browser options also you can choose whatever is suitable to you so uh, regarding the form okay another, and another important thing after filling out the form and everything to help you prepare for the wipro exam in lts 2021 talent battle has already launched three preparation packages gold silver and bronze okay bronze one costs 799 silver is 1599 and gold is 1999 you can see the comparison over here the bronze one has only wipro specific things okay point number 1 to 4 like is uh, wipro elite specific online training wipro specific technical training essay writing training and wipro mock test okay so these four things are there only in bronze the rest of the things are not there in silver and gold the only difference is that silver one does not have a mock technical interview okay silver one does not have a uh, mock technical interview gold one has all these uh, facilities like a complete course on c programming dsa that is data structures and algorithms and java which is really important then the complete aptitude training quant plus reasoning plus verbal and then the resume training also how to a draft a resume and everything and a wipro specific mock technical interview now over here resume training it is good why because if you check out wipro asks you to upload a resume so you should know you should have an idea regarding how to draft a resume how to format a resume so that it is easier for the machine to read it okay then is wipro specific mock technical interview is also there so gold silver and bronze packages are there to help you uh, prepare in the focused manner for the wipro nlts 2021 exam so you can avail the benefits of these uh, we are uh, these packages the link for these packages is given in the description of the video so thank you all of you for watching this video and uh, we'll see you soon